Hello, hello, and welcome to KPN. In KPN, we analyze politics. We give the political events happening in this country. We all we also analyze the strategies used by the various political leaders. So, before I dive into this conversation, if you are if you're watching this channel for the first time, kindly subscribe, share the video, and like the video. So, it is on Friday. Yay! It's on Friday, and uh, as always on Friday, we have what you call cheers. So have your friend, tell him cheers, tell her cheers, so that at least after working tirelessly from Monday to Friday, we can celebrate on Friday. Cheers. Now, this video is all about the political roundup of the week i want to tell you or explain to you the political happenings across the country throughout the week from monday to friday chill i will give you what those political happenings are so let us dive into those happenings shall we number one high court throws out all the charges against Capsaret and B, Oscar Sudi. So Oscar Sudi is a free man. Remember Oscar Sudi was taken to court by saying some utterances to Mamangina Kenyatta. So he was taken but a court in Akuru threw away all those charges and now the MP is caught free, number one. So the people of Saret was in issue very happy because their leader has been released without any charges. Number two, Alfred Mutua confessed something that let us give it to William Ruto. He's a brilliant man, he's smart, hardworking, and self-made. And he likes him a lot. So Alfred Mutua confessed that William Ruto is a brilliant man, hardworking, self-made, and he likes him a lot. That is a plus to William Ruto. Go and take Alfred Mutua to join Kenya Kwanza. <laughs> William Ruto, me too, I admire you that your politics you're doing a very good job, you're hardworking. So as just like Albert Mutua, you are a hard working man. I give it to you. Number three, Waikuru, the governor of Ginyaka, denies an allegation that he has been dishing out or issuing or, uh, UDA nomination tickets. So when Waikuru has been castigated that she has been issuing out UDA nomination tickets. So the people have come out clearly and Waiguru has said, no, 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 it's not me. So Waiguru has denied those allegations are just propaganda and false. Number four, Kenya Kwanza, led by Deputy President, Modavadi and Wetangula attacked Raila Molo Odinga, terming him as state project. Remember, those guys are saying <laughs> Raila Molo Odinga is a state project. So that is the political happenings. The William Ruto is terming Raila Molo Odinga as state project. Kalo, uh, Raila uh, Modavadi the same. <coughs> Modavadi the same, Wetangula the same and all the brigade for Kenya Kwanza. So that is a development, yeah? These guys are sustaining the onslaught of terming Raila Moloding as a state project. Number five. Women leaders allied to Raila Molodinga has launched a campaign to mobilize support for Raila Molodinga. So the women allied to Raila Molodinga launched a campaign 
to mobilize their supporters to support Raila Molodinga. That is a serious uh, campaign. So they will, those women and their supporters will support Asimio La Umocha, led by Raila Molodinga and Uru Kenyatta. Number six, Francis Atoli, the chairman, <laughs> say that he is not a madman. Raila will win this thing first round. I don't know what you think about that. So Atoli is saying he is not a madman and Raila Molodinga will win this thing right first round. This year, it's a tool. A tool, you know, it's a, it's a deep state. So he's saying this thing, Raila Molodinga will take it by eight hand first round. And he's not also a mark, mark. Number seven, High Court orders former Nairobi governor, the first governor of Nairobi, Evan Skidero, to pay a whooping. Four twenty-three million to carry. Four twenty-three million million. Let's hear that too. Jesus, Jesus, woo woo. Hee <laughs> What are we gonna pay again? Hee. Let's Evan Skidder, the first governor of Nairobi. He has been ordered to pay KRA. So meaning these guys are evading the tax. So he has ordered to pay. 423 million to carry. Then number eight, CS Matiangi and CS Munya told off the deputy president and Kenya Kwanza brigade for sustained attack on Jubilee performance. William Ruta has been saying Jubilee has failed, so Matiangi is there then now. Stop saying Jubilee has failed and again you want to take the credit of the successes of Jubilee. So Matiani and Munya came out guns placing that William Ruther should not attack the Jubilee performance, yet you want to take credit. Number nine. Assets Recovery Agency. Assets Recovery Agency says MP regarding Kashiakwa. Remember, who is regarding? Regarding Kashiakwa, everybody knows regarding Kashiakwa. It's a effort to explain 200 million, a whooping 200 million in this account. Remember, regarding Kashiakwa intends to be the William Ruto's running man. But the assets and recovery agency are saying he cannot explain where 200 million in these accounts come from or came from. So regarding Ashako is a hot soup. Number 10. Dab Kenya answers William Ruto as Kenya Kwanza leaders led by Musalia claim part of Israel's project. So Kenya Kwanza led by uh, Eugene Wamano and Wavula Munini and other Western leaders have responded to William Ruto's claim that Raila Molodinga is no that the DAPK party is a is Raila Molodinga's project. So in this case, the party DAPK has been sponsored by Raila Molodinga. I doubt, but this politics, anything is possible. So I don't know what you think about those political roundup of the week. Let us tune in again next Friday for another political roundup. And it is only found in KPN, Kalapata Political News. You cannot get anywhere, trust me, where you get all the political roundup of the week. Only on Fridays, here, here, here on KPN News or Kalapata Political News. Let us meet next week for another political, another week political roundup. Bye, and it is me, Kalabata Chuyuf.